Hey, what's up guys? It's Covert Code here and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a day and night system. This is going to be a short and quick tutorial, so let's get straight to it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is insert our script. So click on server script service and double click on the script. Now, let's call this day and night, okay? Now we just need to define a few variables here. Um, if you don't know what variables are, I have a video on variables which goes into depth. Okay, so I would suggest just going uh, to that video now, checking it out um, and then coming back, okay? So local one minute is equal to 60. So obviously there are 60 seconds in one minute. Okay, so that's just a variable defining that. Um, now we're just gonna have a loop. Again, I have a video on loops. If you don't know what those are, check that out. Then come back okay while wait do now we're gonna use something called set minutes after midnight so basically um game dot lighting set minutes after midnight um so this just changes this property here like, like um right here okay so it changes the time of day okay so if i set this to uh 14 for example times 60 that's gonna be 2 p.m Okay. okay, now we need to define the time that we're going to start at, okay, so local current time is equal to, I want to start at 12 p.m., so it's just going to be 12 times 1 minute, okay, so we're starting at 12 p.m., so I'm just going to put current time, just going to copy and paste that inside these parentheses, okay, now we obviously want the time to increase in 1 continuous motion okay so we're gonna go from 2 p.m to 3 p.m to 4 p.m all the way until it becomes 2 p.m again so it's just gonna do one full cycle okay so 24 hours is gonna cycle through those hours um to make one full day cycle um so the way we do that is by incrementing the current time so current time plus equals um three for example okay so this is the amount of time that we're gonna increment every uh, time this loops in minutes okay so let me just make that easier to understand so local increment is equal to three so three minutes okay it's gonna be increment now so every time this loop um you know runs is going to increase three minutes every single time okay if you want the uh cycle to be longer then decrease this Okay, so it's going to inc increment less, so therefore it'll take longer to complete one full cycle. Okay, but I'll keep it at three for the purposes of this tutorial. Um, we also want um, a wait time variable. So local wait time. I'm just going to put this at 0 0.06. That should do fine. And I'm going to put that here. Okay, so basically this is the amount of time that's that the uh, loop will wait before executing again. So it's going to wait 0 0.06 seconds, run the code in here, and then restart. Wait 0 0.06 seconds, and execute the code inside the loop. And now, if we just check, uh, just click play, okay, the time of day variable should be increasing by three minutes every single time the loop runs. As you can see, the variable is increasing the sun, is uh going down and the moon is coming up okay so that's that's i mean it works but i want to make this better for you guys so what i'm going to do is um between certain hours okay i'm going to make it darker so for example the brightness will decrease and there will be a black fog so it'll be like this evening let me just wait um yeah we're just gonna add this pretty much so let's just that real quick um so if game dot lighting uh, get minutes after midnight so all this is going to do is return this variable here okay um if that is greater than or equal to 20 times one minute so if that's greater than or equal to 8 p.m okay or game dot lighting get minutes after midnight is less than or equal to 5 a.m. That's five times one minute, five times 60, okay? Then um, we want to make changes, pretty much. 
else we want to keep it the same so keep same and make changes so this is all it's saying is if it's later than or equal to 8 p.m okay or if it is uh you know earlier than or equal to 5 a.m so there will be a fog between 8 p.m and 5 a.m okay so that's all we're gonna do here um so yeah let's just uh, add the fog so game dot lighting dot fog end is equal to 500 and game dot lighting dot brightness is equal to zero okay so all we did was modify these properties so game lighting fog end okay so the lower this number is the more fog there is pretty much okay so we just made that 500 during these hours um and the brightness we decreased that to zero okay um if it's not those hours that we want we're just going to do like uh, game dot lighting dot fog end is equal to so we're just gonna revert those changes so i just copied this number here and pasted it there and game dot lighting dot brightness let me just see what my brightness is so I'll just put that back to two, okay? Cool. Um, so that should work, I think. Um, let me just change the fog color of my game to black. So the way you do this is just click on lighting, scroll down on this cube containing the color here, and just make it any color you guys want. Ideally, it would be black, okay, because it's darker. So just click run. Um, and now, between those hours, there should be a fog, which makes the game, uh, I guess, scarier, more realistic, I guess, uh, let's see. Okay, now it's 20, and as you can see, there's a fog um, in the game. And when it's 5 a.m., if we just wait a few seconds here, um, then the fog will disappear, as you guys can see. And it'll be, uh, you know, day again. Now, if you guys don't like the speed of this, as I said, just decrease the increment and decrease the, I mean, increase the amount of time you wait. So let's make it 0 0.1. So it'll increase one minute every 0 0.1 seconds. So as you can see, this is going to make it way, way, way um, slower. Okay, so if you guys want that, then do that, I guess. I just made it uh, three for the purposes of this tutorial video. So yeah, that's all I have for this tutorial, guys. If you liked, please subscribe, uh, leave a comment, let me know that you guys liked the video. Leave any suggestions in the comments below because I read all of your comments, okay? And if you can, leave a like. I'll see you guys next time.